My name is Nuno Mendes, um, I have, um, I'm Portuguese, I live in East London, I have a, a restaurant called Viajante and um, another project called The Corner Room. So. Viajante means traveler in Portuguese and Viajante is my nickname um, and uh, I decided to, 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 to give it, uh, to give this restaurant a Portuguese name and because, uh, you know, uh, even though I am a traveler, and I, I was born and raised in Portugal, this is where everything started and my passion for food started in Portugal as I was growing up. Um, the, the concept of Viajante is, a, you know, it's a restaurant that is, feels like you're in our house. So it's not, it's a very, a very intimate, very uh, small, very um, uh, unique restaurant, I'd like to think. So um, I'm going to be cooking a dish of uh, rainbow trout, which is uh, right here. So it's, uh, we've already portioned the rainbow trout. They're very nice. I mean, um, we cut them into nice little, uh, beautiful little fillets. We cure them lightly, a little salt and sugar. I think um, a lot of our fish, we, we treat it, um, uh, we give it, a, we, we cure it with a little salt and sugar. We're doing the rainbow trout with a, with a, um, a series of garnishes. Um, we have, um, this is what I have in this bowl in front of me right here, is uh, potato noodles. So what we have here, this is the, this is the pickling liquid that we use to, to, um, to cook the potatoes in. Now, um, the, in, in, this, in, this, in this bowl, in this uh, pot, we have uh, sugar, salt, water, um, rice vinegar, we have uh, ginger, we have a little bit of uh, uh, long chilies, uh, we have a little bit of coriander seeds, and a little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, uh, star anise. Very, very light. We just blowtorch the trout very lightly, so we get a really, really nice um, charring on the skin. Just blowtorch the skin very, very lightly. See, it, it seizes up first then it relaxes back down. So the noodles basically, um, you know, we have, we have our, our vinegar uh, boiling. We take it out of the heat. Now we just drop the noodles straight in, okay? Uh, they're soaked, I mean, the potato noodles are just soaked in water. Now we take it off the heat and we let it sit for about 15 minutes. Now our, our cuisine is not, doesn't have uh, borders in a sense. I mean, we, you know, there's references from a lot of different parts of the world. Uh, Part of our journeys, our experiences. Uh, um, funny because we, st I started this place as, as I was, and I was the traveler, and now I'm actually uh, joined by um, a bunch of travelers. Everyone here is a traveler as well. So there's very few um, locals <laughs> in this restaurant. Everybody comes from a different place around the world, and they bring their influences. And and uh, and we all talk about and we all discuss and we all bring this to the table. We all offer this as part of the experience. So now what we have, we have here our watercress. So it's the nice little pushes of watercress. So the smaller leaves and the nice little pushes from the center, we're going to use them to garnish the plates. Um, so this is the nice little watercress that we have here. I have, I have a little bit of dill and I have a little bit of radishes, okay? Now radish is soaked here, okay? I'm just going to slice them. I use a truffle slicer to slice the uh, vegetables. I mean, uh, some of these vegetables because they're, they're quite, quite nice. We don't need a lot, but just a little extra, okay? Uh, the herbal, uh, the fragrant aspect of, of this reminds me a lot of um, Southeast Asian, uh, some of the Southeast Asian noodle salads where you have, uh, you know, you have the, the, the raw vegetables and, the, the, and, the, and all the spices, the herbs. Uh, put through the salad and makes it um, a really nice bite and it's, it's very fresh. Our noodles are here, they're nice and cold. Add a little bit of our egg dashi. So again, egg yolks and dashi. Uh, a nice, really very intense dashi broth that we make. We add a little bit of the, the gomashio, so the, the, this, the black sesame with a little bit of the, the rosemary, a little bit of the salt. We're gonna toss these noodles with it. Again, it's quite eggy, quite nice. So basically, I'm just gonna drain my noodles over here. I'm just cutting them a little bit. I don't want them to be too long. This is the watercress emulsion. I'm just gonna, nice little thick paste of it, okay? okay. 
there's a lot of classical elements. I mean, trout, egg, and watercress, I think they probably have some kind of uh, friendship. I'm just going to lay him on top. I still want to see the trout, but I also want to have a little bit of movement. Horseradish. And this horseradish with a little bit of, you have a little bit of um, creme fraiche, a little salt, a little lemon. A lovely trout roe over here. Okay. We marinated the trout roe in a little bit of olive oil. It's actually a mixture of olive oil and grapeseed oil. Okay. A, lot, a lot of our, the ingredients are actually local, so we are doing... Um, Everything except for the, 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 the dried fish. But there's a lot of crunch. I mean, again, this for me is something that have, uh, the nice Asian, Asian salads have a really nice crunch to them. So um, this is the final dish. So we have uh, what we have here. This is a rainbow trout that's been cured and charred with uh, potato noodles, watercress, and horseradish.